Alrighty, well, hello everyone. I hope you're having a good day. So, we're just gonna hop right into it. Today we're gonna be working on torpedoes and potentially some other parts of the um, Morrigan. But, so we've got two people in chat, Max and Zal, and so we're gonna hop right in with them. Alright, hey guys. I'm back. Welcome back. So, let's just get this party started. So, um... Zol, you left the com. It's Zol, right? By the way. Yes. Okay. So you left the comment of. Let me pull it up real quick. Um, essentially, the code snippet. Hopefully, the code yeah. snippet. Yeah, here it is. Okay. So yesterday, I wrote it into here. And so, uh, can you see that on stream properly, or? Uh, yes. Okay. So, um, I guess, is that what you were going for? It's just... No. Okay. Uh, it is not. So, how can I correct this to make it... So the script, I, I, I think I might have phrased it wrong in the comment, mm -hmm. but it was supposed to make the missile turn 90 degrees, not actually align it to anything okay. in particular. Just just turn. All right. Uh, until it, uh, the specified uh, degrees have been met. Mm -hmm. So you would need all your old uh, alignment back. Okay. So... Let's just take these and copy them. I'm just gonna hang back and read up on this mod in the meanwhile. All right. We're gonna be playing a uh, uh, game after this. I forget what it's called. Pulsar. That's it. Okay. So this is currently what's in here, and so I'm gonna take out this XT. So this is originally what I had to turn it, but yes. all right. So. That's currently what it what it looks like, and this works. So it recognizes it's been launched. It um, then sets the thrust down to zero to drift, and then I guess we need to turn. So hey, Hessian and Lazy, welcome. Okay. So what you're saying is essentially your code should go on line five the um yes it should okay. because uh line four checks for launch yes yes so okay we'll go there and then this go to the second go to is supposed to go to itself right yes. all right and correct. the first one goes to the alignment correct all right let me drop in these uh definitions all right okay so um oh hi natasha yeah well welcome to the stream um yeah i stream all the time so and hey cookie welcome so all right i do have a question about your code though so we have two chips right we have a chip for x and we have a chip for y right now we're editing the y chip is this just because so this is setting the thrust like th so you defined it as the thrust that would be applied to whatever's maneuvering the torpedo is that to the maneuvering thruster yes it is um it should so when i when i made this i didn't have anything at all i just i made like a very bare bones simulation of what would happen uh, okay in c sharp and then I kind of converted it roughly to YOLO. All right. Because so, so... I didn't think about X and Y. All right. So, well, I guess we can just fix that right now. So we've got T, so we wanted to turn 90 degrees. You know, really, we could do it in either... Well, actually, we want this to be on X, to be fair. But if we have the same thing on both uh, chips, it'll be fine. So, T is 90, so that's how far we want to turn in the X direction. 
so then O is the current offset from the target. So that's the offset. Is that from the um, nose cone? So, no, no, essentially? no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. So uh, the since this isn't tracking anything specific, okay. we don't want to use the nose cones offset. We okay. want to use a local offset that just gets updated with the script. Alrighty. Uh, so it's it's kind of accurate with the 90 and kind of not because we mm -hmm. don't have a specific location within the game to All directly right. turn to. Fair. And then so the rotation is just keeping track of that if it's... Exactly. Okay. And then, so the TH, the thrust, yes. is, is that what going to our X maneuvering thruster? Yes, that's okay. what's supposed to go to. So you can actually remove the TH decoration. All right. There's so no point in having that. TH will be changed to XT. Yes. So I think we can set. Well, actually, we, we probably want to leave it as zero. Well, or we can do this. We can just delete it. XT that's equals point. zero. And then this XT. Well, you, you don't have to declare it up there because the the script... Oh, that's a good point. It, like, the whole torpedo already knows where uh, XT is. Wait, so... Sorry, I'm... That, that so... there. The, that's the declaration. You, you don't have to declare that because the maneuvering thruster already, already have the public field XT. There's no reason to declare it up there. Yeah, I'm just... You just have I, to assign it. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, um, actually, we don't need that there at all, but I'm just using the colon in front of it because that's how it will interact. And if... Well, yeah, whatever. It works. Okay, so that should be right. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to copy this to the other chip as well. So we're gonna do this. And then, oh, copy that entire line, go to five. And the old, we technically don't need to do this because they'll be running in tandem but the reason I am is just so that it'll all run the same speed. Uh, so you could just make a room, right? It still reads a line even though there's nothing on it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, okay. So we could do that. And once it, so once it, it executes the turn, then we just want to keep, yeah, to essentially stay on its track. So, Um, go to three, go to four, go to five, go to five, go to six. So that looks good. Um, but yeah, we'll just actually, oh, I am going to just take it out of, actually, I'm going to take it out of the wide chip. Um, just cause. All right. Nope, we got to put those chips in, actually. It takes a bit to switch between the editor and that, but... Okay, so let's see... All right, so we probably just want to see if it'll turn because we don't even we're not even receiving guidance information. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it looked like it actually turned just Well, I mean it eventually turned to the right. <laughs> um <laughs> after a little spin. Um <laughs> It's okay. style points. Style points. Yeah. That's all I'm going for here. 
<laughs> yeah, that's a, a bra moment. So, so what we can take from this is that the target is how many laps did it do? One or two? I think it did two. Do we want to so fire you set, it again? If you if you set a T equal to forty five, it should only do. Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah. See if that. Let's just try do it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Because that tells me that it's like the thrust is too fast. Mm -hmm. Either reduce the target or reduce the thrust. And um, I don't know if you've done this, but would it work if it were negative? Uh, yes. Okay. You should only just have to negative the value and then negative where you set the value or the rotation value. Okay, gotcha. So like two places you have to change a minus or input a minus. I messed up. Um, okay, cool. Because I was going to say um, one thing that I was going to develop, right, is so these are going to be following, well, okay, they're going to be launching from the sides, right? And then mm -hmm. uh, the turrets that they're going to be getting their targeting information from, they may not necessarily be aiming forwards. So what we could do is we could potentially have it read the value from, like, a data chip on board because like this can get all of the data from its connected launcher. And so before it launches, it essentially just keeps reading the angle of the turret that it's connected to so that that way it launches in the direction the turret's looking. Okay. Yeah, you can do that. See, that's a little bit. Oh. What? I, oh, it's not. <laughs> Leaving did you the lock two. it properly? Or did yes, it I did lock it properly. Um, sometimes it just messes up. I don't know why. Okay. I think so. it might have been rotating while in the locking yeah. tube. So what I yeah, think it, it could be. Before it launched. So we only changed 45 from when it worked. I think we may just be... Um, like... Because it essentially it identifies when it's launched, right? Um, so if this is running at like an off time, then it just shuts off the engine immediately, not 0.2 seconds later. If that makes sense. So what we might have to do is introduce some delay. So... Honestly, we could just move this down one, but let's just... That's a little bit of work let's right now, so let's just see if... Yeah? Um, so, apparently there is a very large modding scene in Pulsar. Ooh. We can increase the max player capacity. Um... Blah, 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 hold up. Um... Remove, Ooh. like, bots from the player counter, so we can have bots and players. Mm. Um... Add a command that allows people to vote to skip warp. Ooh, that would Inventory be nice, sorcerer. actually. But I guess, uh, so right here, we're gonna have to fix this because. Yeah, so as uh, Gaming Fire just said in chat, if you just move the lines, you should yeah. get a delay. Yeah, that's what I was about to do. Um, I just didn't want to do it because I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to rename all of the. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Can you do like control F and like replace? No, 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 no. Can you do uh, what's it called? Uh, get the current line that the code is on. Is there a way to do that? Like, uh, like automatically assign the go to. So like, um, can, say no. go to plus one. No, actually, yeah. Wait. Um. Good question, because I don't know. I, I think someone did something like that, but no. In general, you cannot reassign like variables to uh, as pointers okay. there is no like uh, pointers functionality in yolo sadly so there is no arrays either there is no dynamic like um changing of addresses or anything of that so you're pretty much stuck with what you write you can't make it change okay mid code It's really a shame to be honest. Like we tried to do a hard drive project, and we had like a 
a couple hundred um, device fields in a very compact space, but there was no way to actually use that properly unless we had like 10 chips mm. executing at the same time, which sucks. Well, it didn't turn at all, so that's a little bit of... Well, you did remove XT. I did. You did remove where we set the thrust. Well, so I... I did remove XT, but that's because of my own folly. And I'll show you why in a second. Uh, this is the wrong one. Um, so I had an XT... Right here. Yeah, it was right here. So that XT... Um, Oh, that was was, okay. was uh, my accident. I was testing yesterday just to see if it would turn properly, and um, I forgot to take that out. So. Oh, okay, my bad. Now it should theoretically work properly. Uh, let me just read. Yeah, go for it. Because <laughs> yeah, what I was doing is I was just seeing if it would turn a little bit. Because then what we could do is honestly just turn it fast but then that doesn't introduce a good you know degree kind of option hmm I see if you see trying to move the uh, the target to 90 again I just want to quickly right. see if for whatever reason that's messing it up in my head that would do nothing Oh yeah, but it's it's code, so. Yeah, no turn. Hmm. Why? Uh, here. Can you toss me the code in the DMs real quick, Sim? I can have a quick look. Uh, the code or the code from the comment. The We're code just... that you've got going right now. Alright. Just like I'm um, formatting using Discord formatting. I'm gonna do you one better, okay? Or a screenshot that works. You're, as well. you're gonna hate me for it, but yeah. There you go. Okay. I'll have a read. So. Let's just make sure that it's actually properly running the. So it identifies, so we saw it shut off its thruster. So it's getting to here. So it shuts off thruster, then um, LD equals, yeah. So essentially then if LD is less than zero, go on, else restart. So Uh, could it be that it's T no that um, okay add uh, brackets around T minus PS here okay yeah. brackets or um, parentheses uh, what? parentheses wait is it parentheses Ooh, that's an issue or YOLO has some issues with grouping together of um like with with order of execution. Okay. It's an issue. People um, have complained about it. Well, we're not gonna be able to have the end on here. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the the end just doesn't fit now. Um. Hmm. How do we want to do this? Split it up. You could uh, rename XT to just. Uh, something else and rename oh, yeah. ps to just uh, something else and then so reduce those two letters to get two more yeah yeah you could do that as well just we'll do just the, uh, we'll just call it t yeah remember to go to the maneuver thruster yeah there we go all right now we got that let's try it Let's see if that launches it. Okay. Oh. 
it certainly flipped a lot. <laughs> so it flipped too much, right? Yeah. Okay, so, so that was. Check if the other other um like assignments also have uh, the parentheses around them. Okay. There's a couple that didn't have it, I think. Well, we'll find out and hopefully fix it. Okay. This is something that the YOLO community has like requested the devs to fix, but if R greater than that, then go to seven. Else, you've got O equals T minus R that you need parentheses around. Okay. Oh no, it it, it worked. I think it's just the I, uh, the, the target angle. Too. Let's try like a really small angle because it seemed to be pretty. Oh boy, we're gonna sneeze real. crisis averted mm. <laughs> um yes you can uh the only thing is it may be out of fuel so you'll have to replace the fuel but other than that okay yeah so it, it did the spiral again uh. maybe oh i know what it could be um are we not setting it back to zero uh, the uh, maneuver thruster. That might be... No, it should still go to zero because of the way that the uh, equation... Uh, so the T equals 1,000 times O divided by 100 mm -hmm. essentially makes the thruster go slower and slower and slower until it eventually reaches zero. Oh, uh, that's true. Hold on. We forgot to change XT to T. That could be it. Thanks for that catch noise. All right. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, let's see if that is it. Hey, Sprocko, welcome. No. Hmm. So the other th theory I have is that when it updates the uh, what's it called? The uh, the rotation, mm -hmm. because you set it at such a low value, it it's... will never it it won't it won't hit the uh, the threshold that is target minus uh, precision. Okay, so let's try 45 um, again. Could you do me a favor as well? Could you remove the parentheses and see if that makes a difference? Because if it does, you may need to mimic that. All right, well, let's person. just fire this with 45 first. And... Okay, still sp still spinny boy. Yeah, but it, it was better, right? Um, I even see. Yeah, I, I think so. I'm not quite sure. I want to say try and decrease the thrust to 500. Uh, okay. Um, but Max, what were you going to say first? Ha if having you parentheses. You parentheses around T minus PS. Okay. So we'll do See this. That makes a difference. If, if that, that makes a difference, you're going to have to mimic it on the, the other lines as well. Yeah. If it doesn't, though, then we'll try the, uh, yeah, uh, lowering the value. It was the 1,000 to 500, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, so it just didn't turn at all. All right, so you're going to have to mimic this on all of the other, like, things as well, then. What do, what do you mean? There is a couple uh, assignments and checks that don't have parentheses around the entire statement. So you're gonna have to do that. Like for example, so the R oh. larger than T minus PS that needs that, and then O equals T minus R might need it as well. Um, o equals then like T minus R. This. No, 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 like O. And then that entire th well, th that thing. I don't think the thousand times thing needs. Are it, you talking but, like this? Yeah, that needs it. That needs parentheses around it, and the plus equals might also need parentheses around it. Okay. Um. Well, we know the plus equals works, right? Because it does stop spinning. Yeah. It fire. It fires the main engine. 
and starts aligning. Right, that might be fun there. then. Try the T minus R though. It might be an issue with minus yeah. operations. Okay. Like um, it's it's pretty inconsistent in what has priority over what. Let's see, so. what are their So O equals T minus R. Just that the else, the else. Yeah. go to seven else O equals T minus R. Yeah, there right you there. Go. That one? This? Uh, that yeah, I have highlighted. Like that. Yeah, see I'm just trying to find I need two uh two variables that have a length of two. Because we've got PS. You're gonna have to split so it up. If yeah. if you do PS, if you set P uh, PS to P and then remove the zero from the thousand and change the one to a five. Then here. you got two more. We honestly may just have to do this. Like here. Like oh, this. Uh, uh, no. Um, you can still you can do it on one line. Okay. Cause so re remove PS. Change right. that from PS to P. Okay. And uh, the yeah. And then the thousand. Change that from one thousand to five hundred. Okay. And you have there we go. The... All right. Uh, do we want to set this back to ninety? Uh, no. Try forty-five. Well, okay. We'll keep it there then. All right. Please work. <laughs> Okay, so it spun maybe a bit too much. Now, okay, yes. hold on. We're going to go out there. If it's still spinning, I want to see if the maneuver thruster is still firing. It looks like it is. Or is it? No. So it's just in a huge spin. Okay. So maybe just need to knock it down a notch, the amount of spin that we have. I don't know. Uh, I want to say, I think, I still think the interval at which it updates the rotation is too big and it might miss 45. Like it might go a value over. Okay, so let's try, I guess, Wait, back Where down. are you checking that? On the, uh, on the fur, on the, hold, hold up, was it? hold up, wait. Uh... Oh, well, we'll uh, see. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's too late. By the time you guys already said that, I was... <laughs> Firing missiles. Yes. You, you know me, I like to fire missiles, so... So what exactly are you trying to do, actually? Okay. So, uh, do you want to describe your worry, Zol? Yeah, sure. Uh, the uh, We're trying to make the torpedo maneuver a specific amount. Um, so, like the 90 degrees. Yes. Tim, have you considered just, instead of doing 90 degrees, have you considered just doing away with that code and just doing like the single burst of thrust and then turning it off <sighs> just fire off your x thrusters for like 0 0.2 seconds at a certain power yeah. and then turning it off the line yeah. after that that might we be a lot more that. simple and less prone to issues why the fuck did I not think of that The life of a programmer, you learn how to do things in simple ways because you over complex things are. Uh... This just sets XT to 10 for 0.2 seconds. Let's see. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Fascinating, because that worked yesterday. Ah, Sim, how do you always manage to break everything? I have literally no clue. 
Yeah, like right before this, we were coding. So as probably a lot of you know, I've got this, um, the uh, database that I've been working on for SOS and the bot and the it, it's it's messed up right now. The the Raspberry Pi decided to commit Sudoku. Understandable. Maybe this. Yeah, Spock. I was thinking the same originally. Like when Sim was well, I'm, I'm at least doing that for a ship that I'm making with Dinosaur. Um, well, that we're making. I'm just doing the old for it. But like what we're doing at least, and Sim, you're free to like copy this. But what we're just gonna do is we fire off the torpedo, right? It goes like down off of the hull. Fires for about like 0 0.2 seconds at like a certain amount of thrust, so it distances itself away. Then it orients itself um, towards the target, waits for like a, like a second so the ship can move away, right? And then um, it just goes at full thrust towards the ship once it's oriented. You know, what we could do... Okay, hear me out. Because also keep in mind, these these like torpedoes go fast, so you're going to have a hard time hitting things if it's not perfectly oriented towards it. What we could like do... It, Okay, so we set the, um, like, XT pretty high. Um, see, like, that worked almost perfectly to turn it right. Um, but we set the XT, like, pretty high, so that, that way it'll be in a spin. But then what we do is, um... Oh, Sim, what you want to do is, after you've... Uh, like hit the thruster to turn you want to counter thrust with about the half of the uh, the power for like the same duration to account for um, space jelly so after this right so first you thrust right then you counter thrust at the end and then you stop and you just do the normal PED things Alright, so something like that, but that means we've got to edit this. So this goes to line 7. And then that'll just run through. Alright, Mo, we're just racking our noggins, trying to make this turn properly. Because what I was thinking, all right, is we just launch it off, and then once it pops out of the tube, it turns off its thruster and starts spinning. And uh, just so, like, it's enough to do a 360. And then what it does is once it does do that three, well, as, as it does that, um, it enables its tracking. And so as soon as it finds the tor or the angle, it lights up. So, yeah, that, that's the whole reason we're making it so it does turn so that it can find where the... Hmm, interesting, interesting. Um... We, we... I'm sure we could probably make it fly in a corkscrew, but I'm very small brain, so... second is that if TT equals we don't want that because that'll just shut it off um 
thought it will turn 180 back to target. Um, that part I don't believe was necessary. Did no one read the email? Ah, thanks for the follow, Agent. Agent Anti Dab. <laughs> Well, okay, so what it's supposed to do, right, is so it flies out of our torpedo tube and will turn either, like, 90 degrees to the right. And because it only need what it needs to see is the end point for where the laser is. Just messing around with this now because I think I did I messed up something earlier that see that turned it for a quick moment what we could honestly do is have a so first, let's double this. Um, but do a little bit of math there, right? Um, a little bit of quick maths. And in that math, what it'll do is... So... Because finally, what I wanted to do is take the rotation of the turret. Interesting. Take the rotation of the turret and find essentially where um, where it should be initially aimed I don't know uh, see I, I read the email so I actually did um, I'm gonna have to move this down um, Uh, yeah, I'm gonna continue streaming after EA. Um, you know, I'm probably gonna become a little bit, I don't know, maybe smaller, maybe bigger, who knows. Um, but there's gonna be a lot more streamers and things going on. So. But, I hope to continue making content, because this is fun. Yeah, Starbase, the quest for the email. And I know you guys enjoy watching me, but so I'll I'll keep it up. Ah, I did the thing again. <laughs> yeah, the next thing since Tin Bread. <laughs> like how how Betty White is older than sliced bread, I think it is. Like what? It just doesn't make sense, but apparently it's right. So basically what this is saying, all right, if TT equals 50, go to four, else go to three, and I don't know why it's immediately going, shutting off the engine. Oh, you just recently found out about this game? Yeah, um, it's, <laughs> yeah, hype drain. And um, so uh, the networking and lag has been really good lately. So um, and it's been constantly improving, and I, I have a feeling that's the way it's going to be. But yeah, um, even with larger battles, less lag has been happening and all that good stuff. So, uh, Mo, uh, problem is, um, uh, turny turn, not enough. That's it. That's the only problem. Yeah, Hotos would be cool. Um, I have no clue if they're going to add it, but... Eh, it'd be nice to find out. So, okay, it launches. 
Shuts off turns. Look at that. All right. Beautiful. Yeah, that's exactly what we want. So, it turns forward, but all right. Here's the issue, right? We have we have two compounding issues. Um, can the turning and firing be on the same line? Are you talking like um, this stuff, like turning the uh, the torpedo and then this, like turning on the engines? But um, so we have two issues. So first being. Um, what if the door, what if the um, laser is facing a different direction? If it's facing a different direction, then you know we're screwed. And then here's the other thing: what if the torpedoes um, flipped upside down? So, because you know, there's no specific like when you look at a torpedo, there's no specific up or down. Both sides are the same. So, how would you determine what's up or what's down? So, if you loaded this in wrong say um that's you know you're screwed because it'll turn the wrong direction so what we could do okay is turn on like turn on xt large enough so that it'll go in a um a big loop and then just have it take over um like we have this bit Okay, so we have XT equal like 50 or, you know, 100, just a really big number so that it will spin in a 360 degree arc. And then what we'll have is immediately after it, we'll have this and these will try to reset it so that it finds where the laser is. And then we'll hone in on the laser. That way it can be launched in a 360 degree arc and it'll go wherever the laser is. I think we should try that. So what we're going to do is we're going to save, okay? Uh, I, I saved. I did not do the multi-use. So we're going to delete these copies. Uh, we're actually going to delete these two. And that. Bye-bye. Farewell. Um, but then copy this. All right, and we'll just put it like right back here. But anyways, so what we want to do is some experimental stuff. If you face, uh, let's find out, I suppose. Um, which one of these actually? We're gonna have to like disable the, cause if I turn it on, will it, track that's my question hmm. we'll, we'll, we'll try it real quick um because Sprocko right now with the code I'm gonna have to rewrite the code a little bit um but we can try that Um, and yeah, Mo, that's what we're going to be trying to do right now. Does it after actually need... Oh, sorry. Go. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, does it actually need line of sight to the point where the laser is hitting the target? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. That's another thing we're going to have to test. So first off, we're going to set... Just cut that out. I'm going to copy this. I, I know it's sloppy, but we're just doing this for testing, so... That's X. Make that like that. Control C, Control V, Control V. Take that out. Take that out. 
then that still has the TT. Yeah. Okay. That should be fine. So if we activate the laser. So laser is active. So it tracks. And. It looks like, yeah, okay, so it can track it when it doesn't have line of sight. Because it was behind the plate. And. Okay. So that's. But doesn't, this, doesn't this mean that you don't have to turn the torpedo after launching it out of the tube? But you just have to wait for it to track? Potentially. That's why what we're gonna do is this. All right, we're gonna grab the torpedo. Yeah. So let's see, does it even read? See, all right. Oh shoot, sorry, pressed the wrong button. But it did look like it was beginning to turn. Yeah. Man, that was really anticlimactic, me pressing the wrong button. You love to see it. All right, which which torpedo am I using? We're using that one, okay. Couldn't you just not set the target thrust and just have it maneuver instead of actually fire? So it's hard to... Yeah, I could. Um, yeah, I could 100% do that. Uh, let's just... Uh, I was just going to reset it right now. Um, here. Yeah, I'll, I'll set that and then we'll try it. Because if, if we don't actually need to face it, then that might be really handy. <laughs> Watch us just like, you know, we wrote all this stuff to face it in a specific direction and do all this work. And then it's like, nah, you didn't need that. <laughs> So first off, let's test it back here. Oh my god. Wait, what was that? Why did it turn slowly and then turn fast? What I think it could be is internally it has, um, like... A search mode, maybe? Because, like, it didn't have acquisition. Un unless it did. But, um... So, like, that search mode might have been it moving really slow. But, um... That, when it, when it moved really fast, that was the torpedo, uh... That was the PID thing that we have. I think it's uh, I think it's because the values are negative when it's facing away, and then as soon as it gets to like ninety, it goes like yeah, super it, fast. See, it go it it goes positive, which means now the script works as it's supposed to. Yeah. So because of the values being inverted, it's sort of not doing what it's supposed to. Mm hmm. But it's it's kind of working. It yeah. So. So, yeah, have it start aiming as soon as it fires, powered off for a bit of time, and then... Okay, so let's... let's. So you basically just have to wait. Yeah, I literally That's just it. have to wait. But oh the one God. thing I did want to do is, like, turn it down, because if that... Well, actually, no. Okay. Man, I... Sometimes, you know? Sometimes... Okay, so we're going to have, it sets it to 50, that means it's launched, so then it sets it to mm -hmm. zero, right? Um, mm -hmm. And it'll set it to zero, and we want it to then, 
track. So let's so go. It fires with 50, right? Yeah. And immediately after it's fired with 50, you set it to zero. Yeah. Like, At um, this point, sorry? I was going to say like about 0 0.2, 0 0.4 seconds, somewhere in between there. But go. Yes. So I think you can just set it one line below where you check if it's launched or not. And it should start tracking. Because what I think happened in all the other uh, testing was mm -hmm. that you never turned on the laser when uh, doing the testing for the 90 degree turn. Yeah. So are you saying like we started tracking here? Yes. Okay. And oh, you need to well, turn off the, uh, the, the, uh, the thruster. Thrust. So that's why I was thinking like here. So what I'm thinking, all right. So it thrusts and it leaves the space. So it gives it enough time to clear the ship. Then what we do is we set it equal to zero. And then, um, really, we can just take this out and just have it go to the next. But what I want to have, all right. So let's see if I can fit it in. So if, um, LD is less than zero, then, uh, do this no we want it to be if it's greater than zero all right so what i'm trying to do right is i'm trying to make it have a timer that, that's what i'm trying to work in here so we launch it all right we launch it turns off its engines then uh this part isn't even needed so it turns off the engine, and then it starts uh, doing X and Y tracking, and then it'll start tracking for like two seconds maybe, and then it will then hit 50 and take off. Okay, so here, this might be a dumb question, right? Okay, but shoot. Every, every line takes 0 0.2 seconds to execute. Correct. Right? Then why make a timer or code for a timer when the lines are timers themselves? Well, that way we can adjust it super easy. So like right here, so we have LD equal to two and then it takes off 0.2 each time it runs. So it lasts for a second, right? Or no, two seconds. I, I don't know. Okay. But my point is that way, if we just like say we want to double the time, we just change it to four. Uh, okay. So it's yeah. I guess it's just an ease of use. Okay. And yeah, Sprocko uh, and Mo, we actually now have it so that we can turn down the thrust. So, yeah. Happy happy times. All right. So, what I want to do is if the LD is greater than zero, and we're gonna change this to be LD. Equal. Let's see if it fits. So if LD is greater than zero, um, then execute this. And then I can't type anything after that. Yeah. So here, what we could do is like this. Um, yeah, so there's the so much code per line just because uh, this this part right here is actually just like a single function and there's no real highlighting or anything. So, okay, I'm trying to process this. If LD is greater than zero, then go to six. So it's greater than zero. Then we have it execute and then yeah, if we don't even want to have that there. 
right? We'd want it to be there. So it sets it to zero, right? Then it takes two off LD. Then if LD is greater than zero, then it goes back one. You should probably, yeah, then it goes back to six. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. So like this. And um, later when this is on a moving ship, I'm betting you will need the torp to s just slow down rather than stop. Yeah. Um, no. I, I, if you if you slow down the thruster, uh, it basically consumes less fuel. So yeah, it would lurk, work. Well, actually, I'm not sure. I'm sure there's a sweet spot. And LD is essentially our timer. So we probably should have named it something else. But Max, why did you name it LD? Didn't it have a specific reason? I believe it was supposed to be a launch delay. Yeah, launch delay, yeah. TT is the target thrust. So um, when when a torpedo is launched, its target thrust is automatically set to 50. So that's how we recognize if it has been launched. So, okay, I'm going to take a picture of this. And we're going to go to PIDY. Okay, so this part can stay. Then we set it to zero, right? So we want to copy here. Control C, Control V. All right, so we have this. Then we take the LD, move it here. Then we take this, put it here. So if LD is greater than zero, then go to six, else go to eight, and um, that actually should be it. All right, let's see if this works or if we've done a stupid and all this work has been for nothing. Oh no, no, oh no, no. We don't want that oh, wait. negative thinking. Hold on, hold on. We gotta turn on the laser, yes. Yes, that was the key. Yes. All right. But, but before you launch it, right? Um, mm -hmm. I think the way you do it right now. Oh. I yeah. Think, oh. I <laughs> think it's gonna impo be impossible for it to turn. How so? Because it's because it's one hundred and eighty degrees away. The mm -hmm. uh, the thrusters won't actually engage. Like, it, when we tested it earlier, it, it only sort of nudged in the direction when it was uh, in negative values. Uh -huh. So I think it has the maximum range for it should be, like, a, uh, 100 degrees or 110 degrees, not actually 180. Well, because we so had it you, be 180 here, and it's still nudged. Yes, but with the thruster active, I think it'll just get too far away at the point where uh, it's actually like aligned. Mm. If you know what I mean. Yeah, I get what you're saying. So, we, I mean, we can try. Let's just try it. Because if it's. Thing. We're going to have it shut off for a little bit longer. But so then, okay. Th this is just to guarantee that it actually fires. Because we were having issues earlier where it wouldn't fire out of the tube. Okay. Oh, stay. <laughs> Good boy. This is it. I can feel it. I don't know if it's going to turn around or not. I Should we be watching the target? What do you mean? What target? The laser? Yeah. Will it acquire? You need time now, right? Yeah, I, I, I gave it a lot of time just to make sure that it...
I don't think it's coming. Wait. No, nope, I don't think it's coming back. Uh, it didn't mm. blow up. It's got a hit to do that. Um, it is launch delay mo. Yeah. Um, something tells me it's lost to the sands of time. Um, hmm. I think it is the the. It doesn't get. Oh wait. Here's my thing. When you do a when you do a go to right. Okay. Does the delay on each line work the same? So if it reads the go to, does it immediately go to that line and read it, or I does think, it wait? I think it still takes the point two. Yeah, I still think it uses the zero point two. Can we test this out? Because yeah. that's the only explanation I have at the moment. Because ten seconds would be plenty of time. Yeah. All right. I think. If we just do like a. A delay, the yeah. delay here, and a go. To, yeah, do if you do like a, uh, if you do like a that. go to there. Yeah, and then say go to six. Just skip one, right? Yeah. And then on the six, tell it to go to. Yeah, just tell it to go to up, go up again, and then look at the line fall. So go to four. Yeah, there. Go to four. Yeah, and then look if it goes immediately back. It should go right now. Well, let's see. So it looks like it still takes point two. Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, I was going to say point two, because then I'm sure people would find a way to, like, circumvent it. So, if, hold on. If we just, like, set... Okay, I probably actually have to launch it properly for it to work. Um, maybe if I want la launch it, maybe if I launch it at a weird angle. Because, um, like, we launched it directly that way, right? What if I launch it, like, upwards or something? I don't know. I'm just well, thinking it we'll see. We'll see cuz I have no clue. Still think the it's computer. the it's the the degrees, the actual turning that's uh the community is calling my name. So it didn't even turn off. Okay, what? <laughs> ah! What is even going on? Ah. Uh, Thank you for the raid tosser. This is holy crap. You know, this is even more unfortunate because we're. Oh, Did no one read the email? <laughs> ah, thanks for the follow. Jeez, hey guys, welcome. Um, so we are just coding our torpedoes so that they actually work properly, but they're not working properly. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I don't get why it's not setting it equal to zero. The speed equals zero. Thank you. I really need it. Because we launched it, right? But it didn't set it. Let's just double check, because we may have borked it. Um... No? Okay, it looks the same on both. We're actually- I'm gonna change that. We're gonna- Yeah, I'm slowly going insane, so prepare for the brain drain. Um, so basically what this missile is supposed to do, right, is it is supposed to launch out of this tube, uh, rotate in a circle until it acquires the target, and then engage. Perhaps, we'll see. Ah! Why? Why? Jeez. Oh, Tosser, have you used those network, um... 
Uh, you know the things that do make local... Hold on. Unless they took them out. Uh... No. Network relays. And memory relays. Or, I think it's just the network relays. But look at this. So, um... This is a network relay. So, what you do is everything on this side is, uh, it includes everything from out there, but if you declare a variable in here, it can't go out that way. So, <laughs> so sorry, Tosser. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. And so the laser doesn't need to be connected to the launcher, it just needs to be somewhere nearby. Hello, new person. But yeah, uh, Tosser, I, I'm sorry for just <laughs> th throwing your <laughs> life upside down. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh. Okay, so what do you think we should do to fix this? Is all. Well, I know you were saying something, but I was ignoring you. Because, yeah. yeah. It's okay. Alright, thanks um, for the follow, Easton. I think, try, try and aim the laser, like, at a maximum 90 degrees. See if, see if that'll work. Okay. But we're stuck at the thing not turning off. Yeah. Alright. Well, so, okay, it's not launching properly. Like, you know how it didn't engage the thruster, and then as soon as I touch it, it goes off? Like, yeah. Is that a bug in our code or in the game's code? It, it could be the game. But here, let's try this, okay? <laughs> but yeah, Tosser, that's one of the integral things, I suppose. But All right, so we turn this on. I have never used them myself, but... I'm sure, I really hope they help you. So. You, yes, happy cries, happy cries. Should be 50. Um, right? ET 50, so then it goes. Well, right see, now. this is the modified version. Oh. Um, th This one was the one that was super. Um, oh, we need to physically replace it. Uh, Why? Well, yeah, that's a bruh moment. <laughs> okay, well, uh, say bye bye, I suppose. Actually, let's let's bring in uh, some machinery, right? Oh, it's a. Hmm, I wonder where it is. It's not like it'll be in launchers. <laughs> Uh, and then the end. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've been in the game for a while. <laughs> yeah. I, I know a lot. I've struggled so much. I only hope to impart some information. Mm. You know, sometimes, alright? Sometimes. All right. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, are you okay? You're okay, cool. All right, let's see if it works now. All right, let's, okay. Time, time to find out, are we stupid? I mean, I already know the answer to that, but. Hey, speak for yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bruh, you literally... See, and as soon as I touch it, it's gonna go rock... Kidding off? Is that... Wait. I... Dog, I don't... <laughs> I don't know anymore. Ah! What? Uh, 
You know, there's a reason I was like, let's only have a one hour stream today because we're doing torpedoes. Like, what the damn, fuck? for damn good reason. Um, I don't think it's a torpedo. Because everything is, I don't want to say flawless, but. It, it should work. It should. It should. should. It, it should, it work. should work. Yes, I, I agree. <sighs> All right, hold but on. We're the... just going to do this. We're going to turn on the laser. We're going to shoot one. Wait, 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 wait. Look at the script again. Uh, Hold on a second. Let me just do a little. Oh, is that the. That's the old one. No, I. Sorry. Yeah. So it. Interesting. Is it still going to align? Or is it drifting? Has it. I don't think it's drifting. I think it is. I think it was aligning, but. Oh, yeah. It, it was aligning. Up. It was aligning. Yeah, so now it's properly aligned. So it works try when it's at 90 it. degrees. Yes, so try and turn it 180 and see if it goes for, slow at first. See, okay. That's what I there. Think. I just took it. Okay. So it's still, it still tracks, but look how slow it goes. Yeah, so it is quite slow. Maybe we need to see if it will go fast, and that's... Then it, then it goes. How would we... Hmm. See, because we could... How would we do this? All right. Argument. I All right, think... this is a really bad idea, but... <laughs> I... I... See... What... What is that? Thrust multi... <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I, you know, mm. it's flawless. I, I don't see anything <laughs> wrong with this. <laughs> this works. The, you know, they'll never be able to hit our torpedo. Now, our torpedo <laughs> might not be able to hit. <laughs> but. Uh, the ninja torpedo dodging and weaving everywhere. Oh god, Sprockel added to the disco room. We just put lights on that and it that can be our disco ball. Just oh. Okay, so All right. All right. Do we want to make it faster? No. Like No, you not you don't want to make it faster. Well, but the I, I think I think it is seriously because you see that minus there, y uh, e, uh, minus p e. If it's in a wrong, um, if it's in the wrong, uh, what's it called? Positive negative. Yeah. That will mess it up because if you change that, I think mm -hmm. seriously, if you change that to a plus, it'll work in the one eighty position, but not in the like normal position. And the plus at the. So last. what you're saying is change this to a plus. If but, yeah, I think I want to say this. I think if you change all minuses to pluses and pluses to minuses, it'll then work in the negative direction. Like if it's facing away, then it'll try and align. Maybe I want to I want to clarify that maybe. R literally no clue. Let's just see and you know. There, there's a, there's a great a great quote, okay, and I'm gonna recite it for you all, and it's called "fuck around and find out." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, why aren't I quote. using the arrow keys? Because they don't work up and down. Jeez. Wait, seriously? Yeah, like this is me pressing the arrow keys up and down. Oh wait, oh you just have to double. Okay. Never mind. We're okay. We're okay. We're not angry. It's so weird it works like that. Yes. Why though? Okay, laser on. Torpedo turned away. Is active equals one. Nah, so that just makes it freak oh, out. Okay. 
Hmm. Okay, yeah, never mind. Yeah, yeah, let's not do that. Um, Looks more random now, though. Oh, yeah, definitely. Hmm. Okay. Why did why did I think that was gonna work? I have no idea. You know, it's a good question. Um. But okay, so think, let's just late, okay? understandable. Let's just go over here and figure out what's what the hell is going on. Okay. Um, why did I just see a torpedo dance? Uh, disco room upgrades, obviously. <laughs> understandable. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> I see when I was uh, I make the every time I change the like twitch notification like you know for when I start streaming and this time it was uh, simulator haven is um, what was it simulator haven is torpedoing his chances of survival that's exactly what I feel like right now <laughs> we're just I'm not gonna make it out I'm gonna be murdered by one of these lines of code eventually <laughs> Okay, so TT zero. Go it runs. Then, it, if LD is greater than zero, so at this point it is. Then go to six. Else, go to eight. Okay. Should work. Does the it, spaces after the line ends? So when the code is done. And the mm -hmm. space is there. Does that fuck anything up? It shouldn't. Um, I don't think it would because it's a space, but it could. I guess. But you have fine. a space. Oh on wait. That. Yeah. Just like right maybe, there. Maybe. I mean, parentheses on minuses. It doesn't work. So why not? Yeah. That, yeah. That too. Okay. Let's just. And it did turn faster. I'll. I'll yeah. Give it that. Okay, so we want to launch it just in any old direction, I suppose. Let's launch it at 90 degrees, just to find out. Ah, thanks for the follow, mm. Pixel. Alright. Nope, nope, yeah, there we go. Launch torpedo. Launch torpedo. Launch... Th what? Uh, hold on. It was maneuvering. But it didn't turn off, did it? No. Which it should have. That should have been the first thing that happened. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> uh, I, uh, Go home, torpedo. Uh, your yeah, car. yeah. What? What? Maybe we need to just okay. replace the whole thing. That makes no sense. Let, let's okay. We're just gonna replace the whole thing. <laughs> All right. Device hardpoint. Um, utility fixed weapon out too. It's like a teenager it just doesn't do what you want it to do. No. All right. All right, Sim. Didn't we plan to do Pulsar like 15 minutes ago? Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you want to get it started, I'll join you once. The torpedo works. Okay, I'll see you in a couple of years. <laughs> do you get? It, it won't be long. I'm only no, gonna work I'm... for a little bit more. Who was joining us? Mokro, potentially. Chet was joining us. You were joining us. No, I was joining us. Uh, um, Crusader. And Crusader was okay. joining us. Okay. Alright. It's a thing now, okay? It's a thing. Alright, alright. Now our torpedo. If this doesn't work, I'm rage quitting. I probably won't rage quit, but I'm just, I'm just, you know, saying. I'll probably rage quit. Alright, it's locked, right? And, um, lazy, I think we should mm. um, assign no torpedoes to the Josh defense system because judging by how 
Sims torpedoes are doing, okay. it will probably backfire. Okay. <laughs> I do think Why? we should get Sim to play more horror games, though. Ah. Why doesn't it? Why doesn't it turn off? It literally should just turn off. Like, just turn off, please. TT equals zero. It's literally that simple. Okay, let's. All right, guys, guys, subscribers in chat. Did you know that the Pulsar game has a mod that allows us to have multiple ships and multiple different crews? All right, yeah, Cookie Pay for the SCP game, huh? Yeah. Sim? Yeah. Are you saying you're scamming your I'm saying that I'm trying viewers? to get as much Starbase in before I leave for vacation as I can. Right, are we vacation? Yeah, you know I leave in like two days. Right, My how long are you going to be gone for? I'm going to be gone from the 3rd to the 9th. Ew, imagine. Yeah, Where that's are you going, what, actually? Uh, North Carolina. So. Imagine going on vacation in your own country. Yeah. Um, what? What? What the? Right. <laughs> not I, I, Where there is a I, 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 away. He's <laughs> flying away with the. No. Okay. Too. We're done. We're done. I can't, do this, done I, can't, I can't do this anymore. I can't. I can't do this anymore. Wow. Yeah. I think that's what the torpedo was saying as it was <laughs> flying off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna jump. I'm done. Into, I'm uh, done. I can't. I can't. All right, we're, we're... game lights <sighs> voice real quick. Yeah. Yeah. All right. See you there. Uh, fucking hell. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well. That... And uh, I see on a uh, quick note uh, before I leave. Um, the game does have limited like lobbies, and we're currently full. So if you buy it now, I'm not sure if you could play with us. Just heads up. Yeah, but uh, thank you, Zol, for helping us out and dealing with this bullshit. So, um, yeah. yeah, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Um, if you missed any part of my rage, it'll be up on YouTube in a couple days. So, yeah, thank you all for watching, and have a good rest of your day.